What is up, world? It is Action Fredo, and I have a very special guest here, my brother. Um, we brother from another mother, but um, this guy is more than a brother, man. This is family, man. This is my guy, Joey Makes. What's up? What's up? What's up? Introduce, man. Do your intro, man. man you, the, hey, hey, man. You was you were speaking so highly of me. I was really just soaking it in, but you already know, man. It's your boy Jody, Joe, the Superfly CEO, yes, aka Joey Makes. A.K.A. the CEO of STA90.com, Sweet Tooth Academy. Man, this guy is a legend here in our community. Um, I watched this guy start a clothing brand. I actually got on his shirt, man. (laughs) That's that's that wasn't planned or anything, bro. I just woke woke up and I threw it on. This is he designed it. Ah, ah, ah. That's STA, man. Sweet Tooth Academy is well known where we're from. And uh, we want to take a different approach with this reaction. He's going to give us some game and his thoughts and opinions on the fashion. OK, it just so happens that I jump into discord. Shout out to the mod squad. Ooh, the, mods. the moderators in our discord said, hey, um, what you looking for as far as fashion? I said, um, just give me a band with some good music, good fashion. They said BTS. I'm like, OK, that's blatantly obvious. What song? They said blood, sweat and tears. Mm. This is heavily, heavily requested because we did a, a BTS concert today and our Patreon and in the comments, they said, I think you guys would love blood, sweat and tears. So mm. perfect timing. What do you know about K-pop, bro? Uh, what I do know is that it's been around for a long time. You educated me on a little bit of it earlier. Yeah. Uh, I, what I've been watching when I come in here and I see you guys doing a lot of the reaction videos and I've been hearing it. I hear a lot of funky beats. I hear a lot of stuff that reminds me, make me feel like I'm in like the 80s and the 90s. You know what I'm saying? Um, I see a lot of really clear faces. I haven't seen a lot of facial hair on none of those videos. Um, <laughs> right. You, I'm just telling you what I noticed about it. I don't really. Okay. You know, those. but I did. I will say I noticed that the fashion is on point. I'm not going to play. Like, yeah. I've seen a lot of the stuff that they had on there and I'm like, ooh. Yeah. Now you heavy into choreo- dance, I should say. Choreography. Well, uh, man, my, all right. So my guy uh, left high school and went to California. He came back and he was crump dancing. Right, right. First of and, all, and, make sure you let them know that y'all used to make fun of me in high school and call me and say I wasn't a real crump dancer. Let me. All right. Let me continue. I mean, <laughs> me and LC had this conversation earlier. <laughs> this is crazy because we were literally talking about you earlier. And I was like, I, I saw uh, Tay Young from uh, NCT on my timeline on Instagram. And I literally was captured captivated by this man doing choreography now 90 days ago i had no i I didn't pay attention to choreography at all and i said my one of my guys he went to california after high school he came back and he was doing crump dance and it's basically like some choreography stuff and we made fun of him yeah y'all did i'm they, sorry that's the old fredo i was a, a jerk yeah they made fun of me and now my closest friends are tight eyes one of the persons one of the people who created crump dance who's traveled all over the world who's been in korea plenty of times doing this thing you know yeah one of my closest friends name is kevin davis he's been on tour with chris brown he's been at the super bowl with bruno mars and i actually slept on the same bed not in on a weird way you know what i'm saying he at the bottom i'm at the top in the hotel room you know what i'm saying just at the to bottom be, Oh, never mind. Of the bed, of the hotel. Oh, oh, okay. You know what I'm saying? We were out in L.A. trying to hook up with, like, the top dancers. You know what I'm saying? And okay. And that was the time that we actually did it, you know? And he's been, I'm talking about, he's won uh, America's mm-hmm. Best Dance Crew. He's he's That man is amazing. But, yeah, okay. I'm into choreography, man. I did a choreography, man. You so, know? okay. Into- so, yeah, let's uh, let's check out this. B- what do you know? Do you know anything about BTS at all? No. Not one thing. So, BTS are kind of like the modern-day Beatles, Mm. right now based out of asia just imagine the beatles mm. how big they were how much fandom they have for sure how iconic um, they were yeah we actually reacted to one of the bts songs i got a lot of the members names wrong mm. we watched the guide which is like a behind the scenes kind of explaining who they are and what they're about i repeated some of the stuff that uh was <laughs> talked about in the guide it was completely wrong mm. so the audience now i can take criticism Right, I don't right. mind being wrong. Right, I get right. wrong. I'm not perfect. But uh, we developed, whew, we pretty much had some beef with some people in the comments. <laughs> like, <laughs> Listen, they don't play, people don't play about, you know what I'm saying, yeah, man. the people that they like and the things that they like. You're not going to come at their stuff incorrect. That's Bro, what I'm going to say. 
Yeah, man. I don't mind. Like I said, I don't mind being correct. But once you start disrespecting me, <laughs> you know, I'm not an idiot. Right, okay. Right, I right. just don't study BTS. You were just misinformed. You yes, just misinformed. I was very misinformed. Yeah, right, I feel you. But, um, okay, enough enough with that, man. You ready? I'm ready, man. What do you expect from the song? You think it's going to be, what do you, give me your honest pre- what do you think? All right, I'm gonna tell you this. I'm gonna think. I think that I'm not gonna understand the song. Well, well we're gonna, gonna we're gonna listen to the lyrics, okay? So, oh. I've I've become. We're gonna listen to the song, but read the lyrics, okay? At the same time. So yeah, I'm a professional watcher now, okay? Right, I've got. Right. Have, I'm approaching my ten thousand hours of watching, watching, observing, reading lyrics. Okay. It's gonna be overwhelming at first. No, okay? no, 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 no. You don't have to do that. You, you don't know? have to. You don't have to brace me because I have kids and I have to watch TV with the subtitles on because okay. they run around screaming all day. So I've yeah. been a. I've been a G at this. They'd be like, "Daddy, I'm just watching the movie." I'm like, Mm-mm. "Denzel about to kill him." I'm just <laughs> reading it, so it's all good. Are you ready? Yep. Let's do it. Good in the headphones. <laughs> hey. <laughs> First one. Okay, man, the museum. Mm, Art, Art, look at the, what? Is, what do you notice in the fashion so I, I far? See, I see the button ups. I see the silk button ups. I see him. I see him swagging right now. Okay, you know the silk button ups. It's very, very. Ooh, I like that. Contemporary. That looked like a um. It looked the one didn't look like a, a button up. It looked kind of like a kimono. Okay. The other I'm, one. I'm just gonna start listening. But kind of like a. Um, okay. It could be like an open card. Not that one. That's that's hard though. I, I like that collar. And even the art. It's crazy. All right. Let's just listen for a minute. <laughs> You hang up with the filler. Okay. I always love those jackets, bro. Yeah. I always love those jackets. I don't even know what that's called. Okay. I like that jacket he's got on in front. Okay. Like the last supper or something. Mm. I love Jay Hope's voice. Alright, I'm gonna pause right here. So overall, let me give you my feedback on this song. It's a little poppy for my taste. Um I love BTS. But I like more of their gritty songs and more of their R and B songs. This is kind of like in the middle, mm-hmm. which is typically my sweet spot. But when it's pop, pop, mm-hmm. it's not really my flavor. Uh, what are you thinking so far? Now nah, I feel you on that too. Like I, I like a, I like a, um, like a more slower pop. I like a more slower pop kind of song. You know what I'm saying? I, I, yeah. This is an upbeat song. Um, yeah. Probably this is something I feel like this is something if I'm in like a club or something I'll be like okay yeah it's like uh one of those Brick Street songs yeah, you know yeah. you hear in in that that's not typically my vibe in the yeah, headphones yeah. yeah for sure but uh overall I mean it's quality uh BTS is slowly rising to some of my favorites uh they got a lot of dope songs man a lot of dope concepts 
and uh, they kind of push the boundaries of speaking up on issues that um, just typically aren't usually touched on by entertainers in the uh, Asian culture. Mm-hmm. Uh, so they kind of push the limits. Actually, this Sunday, they are nominated for a Grammy and they are actually performing at the Grammys. Mm. And that's huge, uh, being that they don't even speak English and right. you know the Grammys is an American show. So. Yeah, that's nuts. Yeah, man. So they're pretty popular. Um, don't kill me, y'all, if I don't really, if I'm, if I'm not really vibing. But nah, I mean, nah, it's nah, okay. No, no, it's no, no, smooth. No. But I mean, I, I feel like it's doing what it's supposed to do. Like this sounds yeah. like a dance song, and they're talking about dancing in it. Yeah. They're they killing everything when it comes to that. Yeah. You know, if I if I was just trying to you know vibe out the dancing, I would I would put this on. You know what I mean? But for sure, not just on my everyday walk in, or even if I'm about to work out or something like that. Like, nah. yeah, for sure. Are, are you taking? How are you feeling about the fashion that you're seeing in the video? I feel like the fashion is very, very like clean, very upscale. You know what I'm saying? Like mm-hmm. this, it's a very, very upscale type of fashion in this video. Um, more kind of contemporary for yeah. the most part. You know, a lot okay. of button ups, a lot of blazers, robes. You know, not yeah, too man. much street wear in this. Uh, it's but it's not that kind of vibe though. The song isn't even that kind of vibe, so I understand. Yeah. But okay. I, but I still, those are some things that I would definitely wear, though. You know, definitely. Yeah, this dude pushes the, the the boundaries of fashion, man. You're probably the most. Oh yeah, I do. Edgy when it comes to dressing and fashion, man. I wanted to you to pause on this one part, though. I don't think I don't know if we can find it. It was a jacket. Let's let's continue first. Let's finish out the track. Okay, because I want, I'll but I want back. you to see this jacket though. That it, it was it was probably the okay. That's crazy right there. That's my favorite part of the song. Okay. He too was a tempter. He too was a link to the second. The evil world with which I no longer wanted to have anything to do. Okay, switch up. Super cinematic right there. I'm feeling that for sure. Tell a little story. Bring so much character. Yeah. Yeah, that's a very cinematic shot. This is. Oh, that's I think this is like leading up to black is that leading up to black swan? No, I don't know about black swan. I would have said that was the angel of death. If I'm off, let me know I'm off. I could be off. Oh, oh snap. Yeah, I wouldn't kiss that guy. <laughs> I think that was leading up to Black Swan. That's like the kiss of death. Snap. His face didn't crack. Wow. Everybody's so, face started cracking at the end. Yeah, man. Uh, probably because he kissed that guy, man, that statue. I don't know what that meant. 
<laughs> Why are you looking at me like that? Because it was like they transfer energy. It was like they transfer energy or something. Like I don't know what happened. Like somebody, I know who's Army in here. Army, we need your help. Army, it, know give, give, yeah. Uh, so BTS, their fandom, the people who fan them, they're called Army. Okay, mm. they'll know exactly what's going on and what to tell us. Mm. Uh, so that was your first experience with BTS. What do you think overall, just about the experience? Um, I like that song. I like if I would have heard that song without seeing the video, I probably wouldn't have liked it as much. Just to be honest, yeah. That that um that video gave it a lot of character and it, it gave it a story and it uh it made me interested because I was trying to figure out like yeah. what is going on. You know what I mean? For sure. Um, the fashion was on point though. Like I'm not gonna lie, I seen a lot of subtle little things that I really really liked. That yeah. I, I would probably try to implement into some For of the sure. things I do honestly. Yeah. Uh, I like the fact that you used the word contemporary. Because that's the perfect way to describe that this. right there. Yeah, I've been looking for something like that, bro, for so long. I don't know the name of it. It's like a sailor's uh, button up or something. I don't know. If we were to look, if if we were to look for a piece like that, viewers, audience, how would we find? What is that called? What is that style of dress called? Because that seems more like an, an Eastern type of. Um, yeah, I, I seen Michael Jackson wearing one. I seen yeah. him. I seen him wearing one. Uh, you know, just stepping out of a limo one yeah. time. But his had like, his had uh, shoulder pads, and then like little shingles coming off. It was hard too, though. But, yeah. You know, they didn't go that far. I thought this was pretty dope. He was kind of casually hanging off the yeah. balcony with a robe on, like that's yeah. and that's like that's right a there. robe, but that's a robe slash kimono. Like that's all a that's all a, a kimono is kind of like a robe as mm-hmm. well. You know what I'm saying? I really I think a robe just is more plushy. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Like, more soft, something more comfortable. That's uh, to be worn out. Yeah, yeah, man. So yeah, the 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 swagger is always on point. Mm-hmm. Um, See, that's hard. I will wear that for sure. Yeah, man. I I was getting out. What I, I was going to say that you've always pushed the boundaries on typical fashion, especially we. You already transcended what's local. Like you don't really dress like a local person. I think locally people dress here like everybody else. <laughs> you know what I mean? For sure. Whatever's trending, they kind of just follow along. But you was you've been always wearing like strange stuff. <laughs> but yeah. It, but it looks good though. Yeah, you know yeah, what I'm yeah. saying? It like, compliments my style. You feel me? Yeah, man. It compliments your style. One day you had on a Raiden hat. <laughs> he had a yeah. Raiden hat on, and I'm like, okay, he really does this fashion stuff. You know? Yeah, that was a gift. That was actually a gift from a, a guy that. I helped start his brand, but yeah, um, his name is Dang. It's my boy. He lives out in in California, Brian Dang. Okay, and uh, I went to his house. He's like, "Man, I want you to have this." I'm like, "For real? This is a real one. Yeah, like, that ain't one of the little fake ones. It's ancient Chinese secret. Huh? I don't know what it's for, <laughs> but hey, I swagged that boy out. Man, um, I made a post on Facebook, man, and uh, also Instagram. Just being thankful. I uh, recorded this whole setup, like the screens, the computers, everything. DJ Tezzy was getting ready to mix as he is right now. He's in here preparing. Mm. And I was like, I'm just thankful because I remember in 2013, I came home from college and I didn't have anything. (laughs) I didn't have a dollar to my name. And I tagged you in the post. I know you ain't on social media as much. And I said, only thing I had was a camera that I borrowed from this guy right here, man. <laughs> it's all, I, good. all I had was the Canon T2i, not a dollar to my name, no vehicle, no nothing. And I started shooting videos and I just kept going. Yeah. And there's been several times where I quit and just didn't want to do it. Um, went through several identity crises. I was always Tony Peters, the basketball play- player. And then I finally f- became Alfredo Peters. <laughs> my god given name uh the filmmaker producer editor whatever owner of higher faculty and uh you've been there that whole process man so i want to thank you bro for you know being ins- inspiration and also being a brother to me through it all man 
no no problem man i had to start laughing when you said alfredo because <laughs> he he came back home from college talking about some i'm gonna say what's up tony he said don't call me that call me alfredo tony's my slave name yeah man i, I said tony you told me to call you that like <laughs> that's what you told me your name was this whole time i've been knowing you so i don't man. I, don't, I don't know how that's your slave name but nah when bro got back home from college man I was just happy he was home, bro, and I was just like, man, I want you to do great, bro. No matter what, like we brothers from the from the jump, we we've been knowing each other for so long, like, and we we had a bumpy road, man, like, cause we both got strong personalities, and yeah, man, over the years we just learned how to kind of like get along and deal with each other and not be fighting. <laughs> We done, had a, we done had a bunch of fights, bro, just this, like you're supposed to with brothers. Though. Yeah, man. This dude tried to fight me in high school. <laughs> he tried to fight me at my house. Oh, you cap it now. He tried to fight. He, hey, I had to be hey, like, hey, you just bro, bro, just bounce. <laughs> he capped He it. just turned up in my house, tried nah, to fight me in front of my mama. He lied. He embarrassed me in front of my girl. He said, oh, you just talking like that because your girl here. You know somebody <laughs> say that. You got to flex up. Like, well, you ain't nothing at all yourself. Like. <laughs> right. <laughs> It's hilarious, man. But you know, we both grown so much, man. And uh, you know, now we just preach positivity because we grew up around so much negative. We saw so much negative. We done negative, and now like that's not even us at all. You know, anything that's positive going in the community, going on in the community, we can almost always guarantee that one of us will be there mm-hmm. or be involved or know somebody that's a part of it. So, yeah, man, we've come a long way, bro. For sure, bro. Man, and now I'm over here listening to K-pop, and you like what? what what's, hey. what's what's this? Yeah. Now, T, are you gonna stick around for Tezzy mixing some K-pop? Yeah, for sure, man. I'm, I'm gonna stick around, man. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna kick it with y'all for a little bit. I'm, I'm into this K-pop right now. The fashion got me hooked into it. Honestly, you know, I'm gonna have to remix some of them looks just to be honest. Yeah, man. So I hope I hope the fans don't get mad. I hope the army don't come after me when yeah, I man. remix some of them looks. Yeah, man. Uh. I'm not going to comment on the army. <laughs> Y'all good. Don't, don't actually, play with these people, man. The internet, actually, man, they don't you know play. what? I can't act like that because we got a lot of people that consider themselves army who are in our Discord, who are our subscribers, who are in our Patreon, who are positive individuals, and they encourage us to watch not only BTS but explore other bands, and they accept us for who we are because at the end of the day, it's all about experiencing new things with other people. When we started watching K-pop at, at the beginning, I'm like, there might be a few good songs we like. And then we kind of fell down the rabbit hole. Of now I can say personally that I think some of the best music in the world is coming from Korea right now. Um, I say this ana- analogy all the time. Like they're ahead of us, but behind us at the same time because things come full circle come back around Mm -hmm. back in the 50s 60s 70s it was all about the band the steps Mm -hmm. the instruments and now we're seeing guys that easily could be solo superstars coming together and giving you flavor from all angles that's why some of these bands you can hear a song from them and it's like 90s Mm r&b and then you can hear another song for them and it's like dang this sounds like some kendrick lamar or j Mm -hmm. cole like they have rappers and singers and choreographers and people that can do it all in one group and that's a lethal combination for sure Yeah. yeah so i would say that um now i feel like the next step in america is people forming bands and making music together again. And I just happened to make that comparison with Bruno Mars and uh, Anderson Pack. Mm. You know, they dropped that new song. They got a band called Silk Sonic. And I'm like, that's the closest quality to some some of this K-pop that we've heard because they're composing music. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? They're not just picking a beat and jumping on it. It's it's comp it's it's a composition, so you know. But music is subjective. You know, everybody creates music differently and for different purposes. Like there's a lot of uh, American influence in in K hip hop and K pop in general. So it's all it's all love, man. It's just expression. You know, at the end of the day, for sure. Yeah, man. So um, you gonna listen to some more K pop? Or no? Voluntarily or as far as reaction? Uh, Both. 
Um, y'all, they haven't won me yet. I'm not gonna lie. Um, I'm gonna have to hit. You gonna have to get me on here one more time and and, and play one of them ones that just snatched me up. I'm like, oh, okay, you know what? Yeah, we. I'm gonna have to put this on my playlist. You know, right? You talking about the hip hoppers and all this? I haven't heard no K hip hop. The only thing that I heard from K hip hop was Itchy Ma, and I don't know where that. I don't know exactly. That's that was Keith Ape. Yeah, I like Keith Ape. Uh, okay, yeah. yeah, okay. I like I'm, Keith Ape. I'm not too familiar, but I remember Under it went water squat. Yeah, it went viral. Yeah. So yeah, they hard. Okay. Um just plug yourself, man. How can what's coming up for you in the future? Like what do you have as far as fashion coming up? I know you're revamping Sweet Tooth Academy. Uh hopefully we can get you to design some higher faculty stuff too, man. Because we're we working. We we don't want merch. We want a brand here at Higher Faculty. And this is my consultant and this will be the guy kind of driving some of the the designs. For sure. Yeah. Um, in the future, like, I'm not totally revamping. I'm I'm just pretty much just um, I'm just implementing some different rules and things into my brand as, as what I would say, just different standards that I want people to hold us by moving forward that um, that are outside of design. You know what I mean? Just different business things that I want them to know us by. Uh, we've been we've already we have things in production right now just you know getting ready for it to get finished to um, release to the world you know we just want to change the world positively you know one day at a time one outfit at a time and you know also I am designing for you guys I am going to be a part of this team no matter what like a part of the higher faculty brand that's going to come out amazing I know it will you know I, I, I expect nothing but that especially if i'm going to be a part of it you know yeah so but yeah just moving forward i'm just i'm creating um some real real funky stylish things you know for mm -hmm. sweet tooth that's one thing that we stand out about is, is our style we're a really really stylish brand and um you can't really really put your finger on what we're gonna do next you just you don't know you don't know if we're gonna go this way whatever we're gonna go that way but you know it's gonna be good you know it's gonna be quality so nice make sure y'all follow joey makes on social media um, make sure y'all visit is it sta90.com sta90.com yeah until I, I, until I, next I, time RIP STA mall yes let's get it yeah, and when you come up stay there you heard